in this video i explain velocity ratio of bell drive so we find out the velocity ratio for a two type of bell drive first one is the simple bell drive and second is the compound bell drive simple bell drive means in a simple bell drive only driving pulley and the driven pulleys are there in a compound bell drive number of pulleys are there here you see this is a driver pulley this is driven pulley this is again driver pulley and driven pulley so number of pulley are there then it is called as the compound pulley and only the two pulleys are there one is a driving pulley second one is driven pulley it is called as the simple bell drive so driving pulley means it is rotated by using the electric motor or ic engines or any other type of the prime movers then it is called as the driving pulley and why this na pulley name is given driven pulley because they are rotated or driven by using the driving pulley then it is called as the driven pulley so first we find out the velocity ratio for a simple bell drive so first we understand what is velocity ratio so it is the ratio of two velocity okay so from the word velocity ratio we understand that it is the ratio of two velocity so velocity ratio of bell drive is defined as the ratio of the speed of the driving pulley to the speed of the driven pulley so what is the speed of the driving pulley so in this diagram we see this is the driving pulley and this is the driven pulley and here we mention that 1800 rpm this is the speed of the driving pulley so it is denoted as the n1 and this is the driven pulley and speed of the driven pulley is 900 rpm so it is called as the n2 so velocity ratio is equal to the speed of the driving pulley so speed of the driving pulley is denoted by n1 divided by speed of the driven pulley so speed of the driven pulley is denoted by n2 so velocity ratio is equal to n1 upon n2 now we convert this velocity ratio in the form of diameter of the pulley okay for that we can study more things so assuming if there is a no relative slips between the pulley and the portion of the belt which are in contact with them the speed of the every point of the belt will be same so here we consider that there is a no slip is occur in the belt drives okay at that time the linear speed of the belt linear speed of the belt is equal to circumferential speed of the driving pulley is equal to circumferential speed of the driven pulley so what we consider there is a no slip is there and when the no slip is there at that time the three velocity are the same the circumferential speed of the driving pulley is equal to circumferential speed of the driven pulley is equal to linear speed of the belt so here we see that belt is rotated but it have some linear velocity so here you see this equation is written as the pi d1 n1 so how this equation is come so we know that the shape of the pulley is the circular okay and when we convert into the linear speed or its circumferential length so what is the circumferential length of the circle so length is equal to pi into d means when we cut this circle and open it then we achieve the length is the pi into d okay so here this pi d1 into n1 is the circumferential speed of the driving pulley so circumferential length is the pi into d1 and here the word speed is there so we can add the n1 for the circumferential speed of the driven pulley so it is the pi d2 into n2 so what is d1 d1 is the diameter of the driving pulley d2 is the diameter of the driven pulley so this here the circle have a certain diameters so this diameter is called as the d1 and d2 now from the left and right side the pi is cancel so we achieve these equations the diameter of the driving pulley into speed of the driving pulley is equal to diameter of the driven pulley into speed of the driven pulley then we convert in a form of the ratio this equation is convert into form of ratio so n1 is as it is we supply this d1 on the right sides so what equation we achieve d2 upon d1 and this n2 from the right side is supplied onto the left side so we achieve this equation n1 upon n2 okay so here we get the new equations of the velocity ratio 
that is n1 upon n2 is also equal to the d2 upon d1. Okay, so when we solve the numericals, the two speed is given and one diameter is given. Then we are able to find out the another diameters. Suppose the d1 and d2 is given and one speed is given, then we are able to find out the other speeds by using these equations. So we written the similar equation n1 upon n2 is equal to d2 upon d1. So d1 is diameter of the driving pulley, d2 is diameter of driven pulley that you already know. Okay, so I not again repeat it. So from the equation 1 and 2, we can write down this equation. The velocity ratio is equal to n1 upon n2 is equal to d2 upon d1. So this is our equation number 3. Now if the thickness of belt is considered, the velocity ratio is given by the one new equations. So suppose with the pulley we can consider the thickness of the belt. So with this d2 and d1 we add the thickness t and thickness t is the thickness of the belt. So here we complete the velocity ratio equations for the simple belt drives. Now before moving ahead I request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering. For basic mechanical engineering subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject I request to visit the playlist. Now we study the velocity ratio for compound belt drives. So what is meaning of compound belt drives? In a compound belt drive number of pulleys are there. So here in this figure you see this is the compound belt drive. So here, this is the pulley A, this is pulley B, pulley C, pulley D, pulley E and the pulley F. So here you see that pulley B and C are installed on the same shaft, but its diameter are different. Pulley D and E are installed on the same shaft, but its diameters are different. So here the power is transmitted from pulley A to pulley F. Okay, so in between the pulley A to F, there is a various four pulleys are there. So when the motion is transmitted from the pulley A to pulley F through a number of intermediate pulley. So this pulley B, C, D and E are called as the intermediate pulley. The pulley B and C are keyed on the one shaft. So here we already discussed the B and C are installed on the same shaft. D and E are also installed on the same shaft. Now suppose we consider NA, NB, NC, ND, NE, NF are the speed of the pulley A, pulley B, pulley C, pulley D, pulley E and pulley F respectively. So speed of the pulley A is denoted as the NA, speed of the pulley C is denoted as the NC and the speed of the pulley F is denoted as the NF. And uh, DA, DB, DC, DD, D, DF are the diameter of the pulley that is the pulley A, pulley B, pulley C, pulley D, pulley E and pulley F. So D is denoted diameter and the subscript words that is A, B, C, D, E, F are denoted as the name of the pulley. Now first we find out the separate velocity ratio for each pulley then after we find out the combined equations for the velocity ratio. So first the power is transmitted from the pulley A to pulley B. Okay, So first we find out velocity ratio between pulley A and B. So it is Na upon nb is equal to db upon da this is the equation number one this equation is similar as the simple belt drives okay so here the speed of the pulley a is there then this side the diameter of the pulley b is there then after velocity ratio between the pulley c and d so why we are not find out the velocity ratio between c and d because c and d are installed sorry b and c are installed on the same shaft so both have the same velocity. So we are not find out the NB upon NC. So here we find out the velocity ratio between pulley C and pulley D. So NC upon ND is equal to DD upon DC. This is equation number 2. Same way here we are not find out the velocity ratio for the pulley D and pulley because they are installed on a same shaft. So both have a same velocity. So next we find out velocity ratio between pulley E and pulley F. So equation is NE upon NF is equal to DF upon DA. So this is equation number 3. 
So here pulley B and C are on the same shaft. So NB and NC are same. Then the pulley D and E are on the same shaft. So ND and NE are same. Now velocity ratio between pulley A and F. Now we are find out the velocity ratio between A and F. So velocity ratio between NA upon NF is equal to NA upon NB into NB upon NC into NC up, NC upon ND and ND upon NE into NE upon NF. But what we studied in equation 1, 2, 3. So in equation 1, 2, 3, we study that NA upon NB is equal to DB upon DA. Okay. But here we also mention that NB upon NC is equal to same. So suppose NB is 100, then NC is also 100 RPM. So this parameter is cancelled from this equation. Similarly, ND and ND speed of the pulley D and the speed of the pulley E are same. So this parameter is also cancels. Okay. So here we have only three terms. That is a NA upon NB, NC upon ND, and NE upon NF. So from the equation 1, 2, and 3, we put this value of NA upon NB. So what is the value of NA upon NB? So value of NA upon NB is the dB upon dA. This value is 1 because 100 divided by 100 we get the 1. Okay, then NC upon ND is equal to DD upon DC. This velocity are also same. So this value is also 1. NE upon NF is equal to DF upon DE. So this is our equation number 4. So we need to find out the velocity ratio from pulley A to pulley F. Then we need to use these equations. If you learn something, then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the basic mechanical engineering and also share with your friends.